what made it so tough for the offense today? Um, for the offense? Yes, for yours. Oh, I mean, we end up putting five runs. I don't think the story was was the offense. It was it was us being able to not hold them down. Um, you know, and they did a lot of their damage with two strikes. And those two innings seemed like uh, I have to go back and look for sure, but you know, probably seven, eight uh, hits and or walks uh, with two strikes, just so the you know the inability to put guys away tonight really really cost us and and had the game get away from us. And in terms of Michael King and Jonathan Loisiga, just not mm -hmm. a typical game for them. Yeah, Michael, you know, was was strong early. Um, you know, you know, I thought he had a good slider working as well as you know his fastball that really moves. Um, but then started to have some misses, and and again, it, once we got to the bottom of the order and then on through, he got to a lot of two strike counts, but just couldn't couldn't put guys away. And then low low is just a little bit off tonight. Um, similar stuff, um, you know, didn't have his command that he normally has um so yeah not a great night next question to meredith aaron with king in particular being that he is a pretty young pitcher first year in the league do you need to get him back out there before the postseason um <clears throat> i mean look he went you know 60 plus pitches tonight so you know we'll he's 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 pretty strong upstairs and he'll you know work through it and and take some of the positives from this and and continue to work on the things he needs to 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 really make sure he's commanding like he, he needs to to be successful and you mentioned the wise again just a little bit off from your vantage point can you tell why his command just wasn't there like it normally is yeah not sure if there was something a little bit delivery wise that that was a little bit off but um just not his normal uh, you know, you, you know, usually when he comes in, even if he's getting into some long counts where guys are fouling him off, he, he usually commands his breaking ball and his change up pretty well. And, um, you know, it seemed, seemed like he had a little bit of trouble landing those for strikes tonight. Thank you. Pete Caldera, you have the next question. Aaron, it looked like you had a lengthy conversation with uh, Paul Nauert, the home plate umpire at one point in the middle of the, uh, the game. Could you say what that was about? Yeah, the the ball that that you know went went over that allowed the runner to go to second. The ball that uh, Luke dropped that it the net's broken there, so it went through the net, and that's what allowed him to move up. So I was just you know getting some clarification, like you know <laughs> the net's broken, and but but obviously that doesn't matter. Hopefully they'll get it fixed. Next one to Eric Bolum. Aaron, it didn't end up hurting you guys, but the uh, Guerrero triple in the second inning with Judge and Hicks in uh, right center there. What, what was your view? Do you talk to those guys? What happened there? Yeah, so <clears throat> the lights haven't really taken over yet, um, and Hicks lost the ball initially, so he didn't see it. Um, and Judge did a good job of getting over there, knowing that he didn't see it and, and came in and was – going to make the play and then Hicks at the last second found it and and kind of called it off and then at that point you know there was the kind of no man's land where you're going to run into each other so simple lost ball in in that twilight kind of kind of sky thank you mm -hmm. George King 